so you've been working your face off trying to establish your name in the music industry, or maybe you're trying to grow that income from your music, hopefully both. But at the end of the day, the resources are not unlimited as far as time and money. Now, maybe you're able to set aside a little bit of money from your day job. Maybe you're able to free up some time during your day, but nobody wants to waste time. Nobody wants to waste money. So what do you allocate your time and your money on? Now, as a creator, it can become incredibly frustrating and a bit unsettling when you lose that balance between your life and your finances. Now, this is something that all creators go through, so I promise you, you're not alone. I've been through it personally, and I'm confident that you're going to get through it because in this video, I'm going to unlock some key identifiers that are going to tell you quite clearly what to spend money on, what not to spend money on, and everything in between when it comes to pursuing your music career. Stay tuned. What's going on, guys? Adam Ivy, AdamIvy.com. As always, I appreciate you joining me yet again for another video. Now I'm excited to do this video today because as you can see, I'm in my new studio space. Now you could probably hear it too because it's not properly acoustically treated yet. I have a ton of panels off to the sides of me, but the ones behind me obviously are hung up for obvious reasons. I wasn't gonna start on this side because you guys see this side. So uh, over the next weekend, I have some clouds coming in. I'm gonna build some real cool stuff, some LED lights behind the panels. Uh, and I gotta get rug in here. I mean, there's a lot of treatment that still needs to be done. You might be able to hear the air conditioning unit or uh, you know some just ambient reverb in the room, but I'm incredibly excited to be doing these videos from the space. It's so much more badass than my last um, redoing the panels. Anyway, I don't want this video to be super long, so let's get into it. Now, one of my personal goals in 2018, moving on into the future, is to become a public speaker. I wanna be able to do keynote presentations. I wanna speak at events, whether it be music or marketing, video. Uh, it's all my jam. It's all the things I'm really passionate about. So being a public speaker is one thing that I personally kind of dream of doing. Now, with that being said, I wanna do this video in one take, or as close to one one take as possible. So if I say some ums, if I take some pauses, that's what I would typically cut out of this video, but I really want to get better at this because I have it all down up in here and I make notes on my phone or I might write some traditional notes in a notebook to do these videos because I want to stay on track because you know me. I ramble, but when it comes to this video, it's something near and dear to my heart. I could talk about it for hours, and that's the time-money ratio. When it comes to the time-money ratio, it's very, very simple. And in fact, this video probably won't be super long. And I've been getting some comments too from people saying that my videos are a little long-winded. Just get to the point, and that's what I'm gonna be doing here. The time-money ratio. I want you right now on your phone, maybe on some paper that you have next to you, uh, maybe pause this video and go get some paper. I want you to take notes because I'm gonna be rambling on, I'm gonna be ranting, I'm gonna get to the end in one take. The time money ratio is the way you can calculate what you should be doing yourself and what you should be paying people uh, money to do. When it comes, to, it's, it's very simple, right? So what I want you to do is on one side of the paper, write down what you're best at, on the other side of the paper, write down what takes you the longest to do. It's not necessarily what you're worst at, but for instance, let's say that you're a music producer. Let's say that you are a rapper and you record all day. What? How long does the mixing process take? Does that is that the majority of your time? You make the beat and then you spend hours, or you rap, you spend hours mixing it, ma mastering it, getting it ready to put out to the world. Does that take the longest, or does it take longest uh, to do the graphic design stuff? Do you know how to use After Effects? Or maybe you're an FL and you can make visual equalizers uh, to put up on YouTube or to put up on Facebook or whatever platform to kind of make your music a little bit more interesting to look at when you're promoting it. What takes you the longest? What are you best at? Maybe you could fly through it like that. As a music producer, I can fly through a beat pretty quick, but I like to take my time. Now, mixing might take uh, might take me a while. Maybe doing some um, video editing uh, when it comes to these type of videos that might take me a while. Maybe it comes to blog editing. Maybe maybe you're you're a writer and you write blogs. Now, I'm not trying to get off track here. Focus on what you're really really good at. What you can do, you know, with your eyes closed. Maybe you're just passionate. Maybe it takes you a while to do what you're super passionate about. Now, on a piece of paper, also write down your time obligations, whether it be a day job, your family, college, school, maybe you're not in college yet. Uh, maybe you have other obligations, like you have a day job, you have a, uh, not a day job, a side hustle, right? You mow lawns, you uh, you know deliver papers, any anything that takes time. Maybe the gym is incredibly important to you. So you always, pre I mean, for me, that's one of my, my uh, priorities, right? It's, you know, doing everything I need to do during the day, doing these things. But the gym, I rarely ever miss a day in the gym because it's it's a time where, you know, believe it or not, I go to the gym for the health aspects, but I also go to the gym to kind of get away from my phone, to get away from the emails and the DMs. I, I could kind of just tune out and it's just me. So write down what your priorities are, what you absolutely have to get done. Now, also on this paper, because so you've already written down, wrote down what you're best at, what you're passionate about, what takes you the longest, what your time obligations are as far as priority. And then on the other side of the paper, wherever in a column, write down 
write down things that you like to do, your leisure stuff that you really don't have to do. Maybe it's going out drinking with your boys on the weekends. Maybe it's hanging with your girl, you know, I know that she's not going to want to see this, or if you're a girl and you got a guy or your girl got a girl, like whoever your significant other is, they might not want to hear this, but this is the thing. Let's say that I spend 10 hours a week with my girl watching TV, or I spend 40 hours a week at a day job or whatever. This is how you allocate, right? So let's break down the day into 24 hours. So let's just say it's a very basic thirds, thirds, thirds. So eight hours would be sleeping, eight hours would be a day job, eight hours would be whatever else. Now we know that the world doesn't work this way. Uh, day job also involves commute a lot of day jobs that eight hour day is really nine hours because they give you a half an hour hour lunch and some breaks uh let's say that you have like i said an hour long commute maybe two hour long commute um it's it's not always as black and white as we would like it to be. Maybe when we come home, we have kids to take care of. Maybe when we come home, we have other obligations such as an hour for the gym. And this is really why this is so important to figure out your time management because this is where I'm getting at. Time, money, ratio. You have your time and you have your money. Both are incredibly valuable assets and you have to try to figure out how to value your time. Now, as producers, we always put up beats as a rapper, as a music a musician. You might have gigs or whatever, but you're not really charging for your time, right? You're charging for a beat just as is, just like if you were, you're you a woodworker. I bring that up because I was a carpenter. I have a, a planer on my arm. Um, it's also a dedication to my grandfather, but that's a whole different story. We have a product and we just sell it at a flat rate. We don't equate how many hours it goes in, which can work to our benefit, it can work against us. Let's say that we knock out a beat in 45 minutes, we could sell that thing for $24.99. If we sell it to 100 people, that's $2,500. Uh, and then on the other side of the coin though, if you spend 20 hours making this most epic track and you put it up for lease or for sale and nobody buys it, then that's money down the drain. That's time down the drain. Now you need to establish what you feel your time is worth because when we go to a day job, we're trading time for money. That's really what the hourly rate is. That's really what the salary rate is. The salary rate would be, this is what I think your time is worth in you know, an average of 40 hour week. And I'm going to trade you that for your time and your skill and your work and your effort and all that good stuff. Now, when it comes to being, having a day job, uh, an hourly, that's, a, that's the most black and white you can think. So put it this way. Let's say that you're free time. Let's say that you have a day job making $15 an hour. Now, obviously, uh, that's just a, a generic number I'm throwing out. 15 kind of reigns true when it comes to all these, these news reports of you know, fast food workers wanting 15, EMTs wanting 15. And this is not a political thing. I think everybody is underpaid uh, in this country for the most part. That's a whole different tirade I could go on. What I'm getting at is value your time. Okay, so let's say that I make $15 an hour, eight hour day, come home, what is my, what is, let's say three hours, three to four hours, what is that time worth to me? Let's say that I value my own time at $15 an hour, which side note, I think is very low for you guys that are, that are doing this, cre these creative ventures, these creative endeavors. Uh, never undervalue your time. Always kind of really take value in yourself. It's going to help build confidence. It's going to help build the, the self-worth that you need to really make it in the music industry or any industry as, as an entrepreneur. So anyway, that was just a little tidbit of, of knowledge and inspiration or motivation, whatever. I can't, I don't want to be self-proclaimed inspiration. That's not who I am. I'm trying to help you guys. Let's get back to it. So time, money, time, money, time, money, time, money. On this piece of paper, write down what you think your hourly rate is worth. And this is where I'm getting. Let's say that your hourly rate that you value yourself is $15 an hour and you work four hours an evening. I mean, that'd be nice for a lot of us to be able to work four hours uh, focused on what we love to do with our craft. And that involves the marketing side of things, the business side of things, the networking side of things, the creative creation side of things. Well, that $15 times four is obviously $60. So if you spend that four hours doing some graphic design project that you could have had a graphic designer do for $30. Now I have some graphic designer friends that are unbelievably talented. But that's not what you need all the time. Now, I'm sorry, guys, I'm not trying to talk smack to you, but you understand that if somebody needs something basic, let's say that you took a, a shot like this, you know, you, you want a profile picture. So you set up your camera, you set up your phone, and literally, just like I'm doing, that's a new profile pic, right? But what happens if I don't know how to edit it? Now, granted, if you use apps on your phone, such as Snapseed or basic Photoshop skills or whatever, you can do that yourself. But let's say you don't have that. Uh, you don't have that knowledge. And this can be applied to anything. It could be photography, graphic design, mixing your music, whatever. What I really want you guys to understand is the time-money ratio. 
If you don't have the time to do it and you have the money, it can get done. If you don't have the, the money, you have to make the time to get it done. It's as simple as that, but so many times we, we don't prioritize our time right, right? I, I joke uh, with buddies all the time on Facebook. I'm like, man, if you spent as much time working on your music and working on your marketing as you do working on talking shit and sharing memes on Facebook, man, you'd be, you'd be one of the biggest names in the game right now, and it's true. Think about how much time you waste. That's another thing I want you to write down or log or figure out. Now, I have an app called Moment. What Moment does is it tracks your time on your phone. I don't have any, uh, what do you call it, affiliate links for it or anything. Just go check it out. Uh, it's actually very helpful and it's probably gonna piss you off because you'll see how much time you spend on your phone. Now, everybody always says, I don't have time for this. I don't have time to do this or that. Adam, you know, it's, you, you, you make it sound so easy, but I just don't have the time. Well, you're on YouTube, you're watching videos and you're leaving comments. I mean, let's face it, you're gonna make time for things that you find important. How many times have you started dating someone? This is a perfect parallel. You start dating someone, talking to someone. You will literally lose sleep. You will go home early from your job. You will call on lunch break. You'll be doing this to try to have their attention. Give yourself that attention. Give your, give your craft, give your dreams that attention. Fall in love with what it is you're trying to do rather than look at it with a gray cloud and frustration all the time. I know it's easy. I know it's super easy to be frustrated with this stuff, guys, but think about this. So let's say that you spend an hour on social media every day. You, you're posting on Instagram like I recommend doing and you're on Facebook trying to keep up with the networking side of things. Maybe you check your LinkedIn if you do that. You're on Twitter, uh, maybe on Snapchat, whatever. You're really, really focused here. I'm not even talking smack about you guys being off, off topic here, off, uh, off uh, focus. But let's say you're spending an hour doing that getting all your posts ready, you're doing some editing on your phone, you're getting them posted, uh, you wanna be consistent because you know it's important because you've been watching my videos. But what I'm getting at is, okay, so you spend an hour. Well, if you go and you sign up for a service such as Hootsuite, which I, again, I'm not an affiliate, I should be, because I love Hootsuite, I think they have a $10 plan. It's like kind of an entry level plan where you can have um, access to some of your accounts. What it is, is it's a social media scheduling tool. Now it sounds like I don't need that. Yeah, trust me. Let's say that you have a whole day open on Sunday every week, but you're, during the week is very busy for you. I hope you're following me here, guys. Let's say that you take that Sunday and you say, Adam, or self, let's say your name is uh, Travis. My name's Travis. Uh, Travis, you're gonna spend four hours this Sunday getting all your social media posts done for the week as far as like promotional stuff, music. And it's so great to have a content calendar. That's another thing I highly recommend is get a Google calendar, do the calendar app that's already built into your phone and kind of figure out what you're doing, right? Kind of figure out what you wanna do. Let's say that Mondays you post new music, Tuesdays you post a, a selfie of yourself. I mean, it could be very basic. This is the greatest thing. So many people ask me all the time, Adam, how do you post this content all the time? Well. Some of it's scheduled, some of it I do live. You know, uh, a lot of the video stuff I try to get ready before I post, so I have the stories and I have the IGTV promo and I have these videos, like I have the thumbnail, have the description, the meta tags and all that good stuff. That is, is I call it the ecosystem because everything feeds into itself. Spend, think about spending four hours one day or even two hours because it doesn't need to be that long, really depending on what you have. Let's say that during the weeks, you're taking photos, you're having friends take photos of you, maybe you're working something up in Photoshop, maybe you're really good at Photoshop and that, that's one of your unfair advantages as I speak about in a different video. I'll put that up on the screen if I could find it. Uh, but you spend this time focused for two or three hours on one weekend day rather than stressing yourself out and you have all this chaos going on in your life and you just don't have the time and Adam, I just wanna give up because I don't have the time. I wanna, I wanna spend this time, but I, I need to attend to my family. I have kids, I have bills to pay. I have other things that I need to do. My brother has autism and I fucking take care of him. These are things that I hear. These are things that affect me. You can do it. There are tools out there that'll help you do it. How many times have you gone out to eat this month? If you have the luxury and if you're, if you're blessed enough to have the money to go out to eat. Even Taco Bell is so much more of a blessing than a lot of you guys. Now, maybe not afterwards, because I mean, that's a whole different story, but you get what I'm saying. Stuff really gets to me because where there's a will, there's a way. Figure out what you're wasting your money on and allocate it to things that are gonna get you further faster. Let's say you spend $10 a month on Hootsuite and that helps you schedule your social posts so that on Sunday, everything's tidied up from Monday through Saturday. Then the next Sunday, you schedule all your stuff Monday through Saturday. You, you get what I'm saying? I hope I hope you understand. And that $10 is, what, a McDouble six times a week? I mean, you get what I'm saying? Like, 
You, you can pay for these services that are gonna help you get to where you need to be. This is the thing, a lot of you guys don't wanna spend money on these things because you don't believe in yourself enough to invest in yourself. Your time is an investment, but you don't see it that way. The, your time is the most valuable asset that you'll ever have in your life. The, the few dollars that you make here and there are not what you're worth, not at all. So start looking at that. Now, uh, you know, services such as um, SoundCloud Premium, that costs. SoundClick VIP, that costs. Hootsuite, like I mentioned before. What else? There's Canva. There's, there's all these different services that can help you get to where you need to be a little bit faster and make your life so much easier. It's automation. It's, it's you know, for instance, do you have an email list? Well, you might have an email list over at GetResponse or one of these other email clients, but, uh, you know, MailChimp has a forever free program or a forever free um, tier where it's, I think, up to 2,000 uh, contacts and, and I think six emails a month or something for free. Look at where you're spending your money. Look at where you're spending your time. And on a calendar, in a notebook, on your phone, figure out what you can pull away and figure out how you can give, how you can give money, how you can give time to the things that really matter in your career. Maybe you wanna spend a couple dollars once a month and have a graphic designer make you a couple visualizer videos. Maybe you wanna spend a couple dollars and find someone with a camera that'll shoot you a basic video. Maybe it's, maybe somebody, maybe it's somebody in, in, in film school that just wants to work, right? And I'm not sitting here saying, find somebody to do it for free, find somebody to do it for free, because at, at the end of the day, it's all about karma. If we're constantly trying to find free, 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 how can we ever charge anyone for what we're offering? That's the time money ratio, it's super basic. Either you have the time or you have the money, or maybe you have a mix of both. Now, as my channel grows, as my business grows, as my income grows, I'm bringing on friends that have incredible skill sets to help me create new content on Instagram. Uh, one of my best friends is helping me create these little snippets that I've been uploading and, and he's doing an incredible job doing it. One of my friends is gonna help me do some of my, some, some transcribing and blogging from my videos to help me create more content out of my long form content. And that's something that I could go spend that money on you know, meals. I could fill up my car, gas tank a few more times and drive around. I could buy stuff. But what good stuff now if it's not going to lead to me buying the stuff I really want later? You know, I have a Mercedes. I'm, it's, it's, it's old. It's a 2010. I have a Mercedes E350. I love it. When I bought it, I really felt like I had made it. You know, I felt like, you know, this is a car that I, I had wanted since I was a teenager. And, you know, it has some miles on it. it's not too bad it's, it's in good condition i'm not going to talk a lot of shit about it but i love that vehicle now do i want that vehicle in five years no i want a lamborghini huracan i want a pro white lamborghini huracan if i don't have that i want to have a i8 possibly an r8 these are three of my favorite cars of all time the huracan is on top but the huracan's not very comfortable to drive i think that's why O got rid of his um but what I'm getting at, guys, is you have to have these dreams. You have to understand that you need to do now what most people aren't willing to do to get to the point and be able to live a life that most people aren't willing or you know, aren't going to be able to experience. And I'm stumbling a little bit, but it's really that basic. Why, why isn't everyone a success? Because not everybody's willing to put in the fucking work. Not everybody's willing to believe in themselves when everybody else is shitting on them. So many people listen to other people, and I know I do it too. I do it too. I listen to your comments. I listen to your feedback, your remarks on the videos. Sometimes people leave very hurtful comments, and you know, over the what eight years, nine years that I've been here on YouTube, my thick, my skin has gotten pretty thick. I'm not talking about the acne I had in high school, but you just gotta, you just gotta believe in yourself so much that when a person tells you that you're not gonna be able to do it, you don't get mad at them. You just pat them on the shoulder and say, okay, okay. I'm not even going to be mad at you when I show you what I'm capable of because only you know what you're capable of. Only you are capable of what you're capable of. Time money ratio. Do you have the time? Are you going to make the time? You make time for things that are important in your life. The money, it comes. That's, that's a byproduct of doing stuff that's going to help people. That's a byproduct of uh, fulfilling your, your destiny. I, I hate to say it that way, but it's really true. Hopefully you can hear me. I just realized I'm talking kind of, kind of low here. Time money ratio, guys, it's really what it boils down to. Either you have the time, you make the time, you find the time, or you have the money to pay somebody else who has the time to do it for you. Hopefully, one day this time can turn into the money so the time that you do have will be enjoyed with your friends, your family, and living your best life, being able to live your dreams, live a life of purpose, live a life of fulfillment. So that's the time money ratio.
Now, as always, if you found any value in this video whatsoever, all that I ask is that you smash the thumbs up button, leave a comment in the comments below. Let me know how I did with the one take video. Let me know if you like this format. It's a little bit more real, I find. Uh, and if I could do this on a consistent basis, this is really gonna help me deliver myself and, and you guys help me get to my, you know, reaching my dreams of being able to be a speaker and being able to affect and, and help so many more people in the world uh, get to where they belong. And, and that's in a, in a pocket of, of confidence, a pocket of value. Uh, that's a whole different video. If you haven't yet, I invite you to hit that little button over there to subscribe to this channel. And if you haven't yet, click that little bell icon to become a BFF and part of the channel family here. If you have any comments, if you have any questions, I invite you to come on over to Instagram. I'll put that information up on the screen right now. Send me a DM, shoot me a comment. I do get back to everybody, even if it takes a long time. Now, I will put a little disclaimer out there. I know that there's some people that slip through the cracks. If you hit me up, uh, let's say a month or two ago, and I haven't got back to you yet, because I think that's where I am right now, send me another message pop your name up to the top of the thing. Persistence goes a long way. And I know a lot of you guys that I've been talking to understand that that's, that's the way I roll. Some people have been sending three, four comments or three, four DMs. And finally, I'm like, yo, I am so sorry. I'm rambling now. Like I said, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. I appreciate everybody that's been supporting my recent videos, my past videos, hitting me up on social media. You guys are freaking awesome. Like I said, you're my channel family. So hope you, hope you found value in this video. And until next time, you can find me at AdamIvy.com.